all the other boys just looked like they haven't played in a while. Yeah. So it was. Uh, so we did that a, a little bit, but even that, they took like. Thank you. Summer break, you know. So it was like. You drive, you drive, you drive. It was pretty easy. It wasn't like a good option. Yeah. Right. It's it more summer activity to keep the kids busy and often rather than let's get serious about all of those things. Yeah. But the women were doing great. There was a lot of girls. The women's uh, beach volleyball is, is taking off. They just got uh, legislation that said they could have 10 more uh, scholarship spots. So, um, beach, women's beach volleyball is huge right now. <coughs> Boys, because there's no uh, beach league. And there's talk that uh, men's uh, volleyball college level is going to die. It's, it's, uh, five because of the new legislation that just came out. The new legislation uh, said that they're trying to they're trying to put a limit or try and regulate NIL, which is that they need to like this thing. Right now it's kind of the wild west where you know yeah. boosters can just come in and say, okay, we'll take this kid, we'll take this kid. They're trying to regulate it a little bit. And so the way they're regulating it is that they're increasing uh, the amount of scholarships that, that uh, colleges can give uh, in the program. So they've, like, they've added like 20 scholarships to football. Um, and so the thought is that if you get those scholarships, then they can pay the kids. Um, so, because they're allowing them to use help or whatever. So let's say you get uh, a, a stud quarterback or something. So you can give him four scholarships. And then, uh, yeah, and you can have a walk-on kid and just not have any scholarships. But that's a way that they can try and regulate it a little bit. But the downstream effect of that is they gave 20 more scholarships to football. Um, and they gave 18 more scholarships to, to boys volleyball. Which you would think is great. So they put a cap on it. So every, every player on the team has to have a counterpart of the scholarship. So, you know, boys volleyball is going to be
kids are playing kids are playing down here. But their vision is like Yeah. 
That's only on the girls' side. The boys' side, they don't have one. So that's the take off. Well, that's because of football, right? All the money, boys' sports goes to football and all the other that equals out with girls' sports so they can pump it into volleyball and soccer, you know, which is awesome for, for the girls' side. Yeah. To follow is the, the gorilla the room, right? I think on the men's side, soccer is picking up. It'll pick up speed. It'll, it'll do it. Because MLS, I mean, you have to go down the stadium. But, you know, boys are playing fancy in high school. I mean, they're, they're not even allowed to play high school. Like, they're the ones in the academy. Yeah, so they don't want to get there. Yeah, they're not allowed to play Sucked up into Europe now. There's a lot of all the good boys get sucked into Europe. Yeah, I mean, the United States people never see them, right? Yeah, but there's no problem. They never see them, they show up at the national. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I like three or four kids on the right. Yeah. They're like 18, 19 years old. Hey, we'll check out the third over here. Do you think that he's going to do it? He's going to die, but. He's probably only like 23. Yeah. yeah, he's like 24. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, but he's been doing it for like he's eight years. For a long time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.